Hi! Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another blessed, thankful Thursday, July the 14th, 2022. And your episode number 780, part 1. Your days of praise passage for today. And we're going to be discussing about our great I Am. We're going to be learning about the great I Am. Which you know who it is. If you don't know, then read the Bible and find out. <laughs> but we're going to begin with Exodus chapter chapter 3, verse 14. Hey, 14? And we're on the 14th? That's a coincidence. All from Jeffrey P. Tompkins. Today's devotion. We should be back on uh, Henry... Yeah, we should be back to Henry and Morris tomorrow. So we're back to getting some thing the next few days with the from the Morrises. But this week it's been about Chaz Morris, Jeffrey P. Tompkins. It just like bounced back and forth all week. But, but if you're excited about another blessed, thankful Thursday, smash that like button. Give it an old thankful smasheroonie. <laughs> Um, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, share the video and channel with your family and friends and help me reach a, um, a reasonable amount of subscribers by episode 800, which is now 20 days away. It should be on the August the 3rd. It should be episode 800, so. But, and also help me reach the goal of 100 subscribers by the end of summer which is when you when you see the uh, on the calendar when it says fall begins in September that's when I want to be at a hundred so if you'll help me if you'll get me to that point I will greatly appreciate each and every one that helps me get there so so thanks in advance for helping me get there if you do so but today's passage our great I am begins with Exodus 3 verse 14 it says and God said unto Moses I am that I am and he said thus, uh, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel I am have sent me unto you so this verse is part of an answer to Moses' question of what to tell the Israelites when they ask for God's name. Notably, this is the first time God introduces himself like this in the Bible. And it takes place immediately before the pivotal event in which he delivers the children of Israel from the bondage of Egypt and brings forth the concept of blood redemption with the sacrificial Passover lamb Instead of a grammatically proper name, like Yahweh, Elohim, E-L-O-H-I-M, introduces himself with the repetition of the verb to be, H-A-Y-A -A is the, probably the Greek or the Hebrew form of it. Connected to the particle of relation Asher, A S H E R, that to form the sentence, I am that I am. So the two most dominant verbal forms in the Hebrew Bible are the perfect and imperfect, with the perfect typically indicating a completed action, as opposed to the perfect, the imperfect represents actions, events, or states that are continuing in the process of accomplishment or just now taking place. Hmm, okay. Profoundly, Elohim uses the imperfect form of Haya, H-A-Y-A, to describe himself in this powerful declaration of who he is at this key point in biblical history. So in other words, Elohim is not just the creator and sovereign God of past history. He is our active, all-powerful God of the present and future. Our creator, redeemer, deliverer. 
the Lord Jesus Christ employed this same power pack theme with his series of I am decorations in the Gospel of John underscoring his role as Alpha and Omega the beginning and the ending which is and which was and which is to come the Almighty Revelation 1 8 the Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end the first and the last But that's all I have for now. Coming up tomorrow in your beautiful Fast Friday, July the 15th, episode 781, we're going to be guarding the word. Psalm 119, verse 2 from Henry M. Morris. We're finally be back to getting back to the Henry M. Morris and all the Morses that we we've, we've missed this past week. <laughs> But, and it also will be part of the Psalms, Choices of Life playlist, because we're beginning with the uh, passage of Psalm 119, verse 2, so it's another passage from Psalms. So it goes on that playlist as well. But, stay tuned to that. I might get to it as soon as I finish today's videos. I might get to it sitting here now. Or I might not. I'll just see how I, I go after I get done with the tonight's turning point after I record it. After the recording of tonight's turning point, then let me see what, see how, see if I still got a little energy to continue on. And maybe I'll do tomorrow's and Saturday's as well if I could do it. Because I usually do Friday and Saturday's together. So if I do Friday's, I might as well go ahead and get Saturday's done. So. But, if I don't, then I'll get to it later tonight and get Fridays and Saturdays done. But, either way, you'll see that, you'll see that one tomorrow. The Guarding the Word. You'll see that tomorrow morning. No matter when I record it, so. But coming up at 1 o'clock, for your Thursday, Blessed Thankful Thursday, July the 14th, 2022, Episode 780, Part 2. We're going to be flexing our faith muscles from Zotro Dixon derived from Psalm 46. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes. But you'll see that after one today. So with that said, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trust in God. And he'll keep you safe in all you say and do in 2022 and beyond. And until later, so long. Farewell. Come back later after one. Well, we will be flexing faith muscles. Sounds like a good one. So until then, God bless everyone, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.